So now we start solving equations where we have even more going on. And this one has a variable on both sides. So if we look at the algebra blocks of this, these are kind of bad numbers, but if we look at the algebra blocks of this, we've got five x's, a whole bunch of units, I'm not going to actually put 17 down, two x's, and a whole bunch of units. I'm not going to actually put 38 down. So usually what we look at and what we get confused by is that we have x's on both sides. So you see we have five x's here and we have two x's here. And remember our whole goal is to get one x all by itself. And so what's going to work the best for us is just to think zero pairs here. Think about getting rid of x's on both sides. See I have two x's over here and I have two x's here, and if I get rid of two x's on both sides, I'm keeping that balance scale, remember this is a balance scale, I'm keeping that still balanced because I removed these two x's and I removed these two x's, and now I'm back to a problem where I only have these x's here. And so that's what you want to look at when you have a problem with, here's our balance scale, right, we want to keep it balanced. When we have x's here and over here, we're going to take away x's from both sides the same amount in order to get it so that there isn't x's on, on one of the sides. So here, oops, sorry about that. So here I've subtracted 2x from both sides and by doing that, this 2x and that 2x, they can zero pair out. And now I just have a 38 on this side. And then two of the x's cancel out with the five x's. And so now I only have three x's on this side. And I'm back to a problem where now I have to focus on what are, um, my, what are my green guys? I need to get rid of green guys. And so I have just this x here. I want to get rid of the three and the 17. My green guys are the 17. So I'm going to subtract 17 from both sides. And I have three x then equals 21. And then I have to get rid of the 3. It's 3 times x. So to get rid of it, I divide by 3. And so we get x equals 7 for this problem. Okay, so, oh boy, uh, we can get even more complicated here. And like usual, when we see bubbles, we want to take care of those right away. That's our first step. And so I'm looking at my first bubble here. So I'm looking at this one, and I'm seeing there's a 4 in front. So I'm going to take the 4 times the 1. That gives me 4. I have a 4 times a minus x. That gives me a minus 4x. I still have a plus 3x. Remember, we're rewriting everything. I have a negative 2 times the x, I've got another bubble I'm dealing with here, and a negative 2 times the 1, that's going to be minus 2. And so now I'm ignoring that top equation, I'm just going ahead and solving the bottom one. I've got some simplifying here, if you see here I've got 4x and 3x on the same side, notice that's a negative 4x, so when I add these two together I have a negative 4x and a positive 3x, I've got some zero pairing going on, and so we still have that 4 at the beginning. And we have minus 4x plus 3x, that gives me a negative 1x. And on the other side, I still have negative 2x minus 2. Okay, so now if I look at my balance scale here, I'm trying to get so that I have x's on the same side. Notice on the left-hand side, I have a negative 1x. On the right-hand side, I have a negative 2x. One of those I want to get rid of. So think zero pairs here. When you're getting rid of x's like this, completely getting rid of them on one side, you're thinking zero pairs. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2x to both sides. I'm thinking ahead a little bit, and when you get good at this, you can think ahead too, because I'm knowing if I add 2x here, then over here I end up with a positive answer instead of over here where I, where I would have still had a negative. If you think through that, you'll see what I mean. So my 2x's cancel out here, and so on the right-hand side, I just have that negative 2. On the left-hand side, I still have the 4, and then negative 1x plus 2x gives me plus 1x. Okay? Now, 1x, that's the same thing as just an x. A lot of people get confused by that 1, and they feel like they have to do something with it. 1x is the same thing as x. So now I'm trying to figure out, well, how do I get x by itself? I've got these green guys. I've got to get rid of them. Remember to get rid of them. We do the opposite. This is a positive 4, so I'm going to subtract 4. It would make sense that you're going to want to take away 4 from the 4 to get rid of them. And then I get x equals, and negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And I have one more problem for us. 
Wow, that is one messed up problem. Let's see if we can, okay, I rewrote it. Apparently I wrote it twice. So let's look at this problem. Again, I have bubbles to take care of. So I'm going to multiply through. So I've got 1 fourth times 12x. Now in the past, I have talked about taking and multiplying by the reciprocal of that. And we could do that, but I want you to notice a couple things. One, this is really complicated. So to multiply both sides by the 4 over 1, I've got a lot going on. It kind of scares me. But also, look at that 4 on the bottom. That means we're dividing by 4. 12 can be divided by 4 and 16 can be divided by 4. So really, multiplying through by 1 fourth won't be a problem here. And that's something you want to look at before you just start going crazy with multiplying by the reciprocal. Always look at a problem and think ahead a little bit and see what would be my easiest step here. So I'm going to multiply through by 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 12, that gives me 3x plus, and then I take 1 fourth times 16, that gives me 4 equals 10. And then when I multiply through by the 3, that minus sign needs to go with it. That minus sign belongs to the 3. So you want to pay attention to those minus signs. So negative 3x times x is minus 3x. And negative 3 times negative 2 is a plus 6. Okay, now I, I, I look, this, this left side, that's pretty simplified, but the right side, I've got a bit going on. I've got green guys. I've got 10 green guys plus 6 more green guys. I can simplify that. So I'm going to rewrite it. And here I have, let's see, 10 plus 6, that's 16, and I still have a minus 3x. So then as I go to, um, to solve this, to simplify this, um, I am, let's see here, I've got 3x here, and I've got a minus 3x there. If I add 3x to both sides, because I have a balance scale, if I add 3x, it'll get rid of the x's there, and it'll bring them over here. So now I have 6x plus 4 equals 16. Okay, now I get rid of my green guys, so subtract 4, do the opposite of what's there. So I have 6x equals 12, and divide by 6. So I get x equals 2. Now every once in a while, you're going to have a problem where when you actually go through and do that problem, um, something weird happens. So let's this. Let's say we had, I'm going to do a pretty simplified problem, but it'll happen even in more complicated problems. Let's say I have this. And so I see a bubble, so I'm going to multiply through by the 3. So I get 3x plus 6 equals 3x plus 6. I see that I have um, x's on both sides, so I'm going to move one of them over. Let's move this over. So I minus 3x, so they zero pair out. And when I do that, oh my goodness, look, they both cancel. So we see that we get 6 equals 6. Now you have to ask yourself, is it true that 6 equals 6? And yes, it is. And what that means is, this is an identity problem. So you can say identity as your answer, or you can say all solutions. Now we can't say um, that x equals anything, because you'll notice that x completely disappeared. It's not there anymore. They've canceled out both places. So it's not going to be x equals something. What it means is I can take any number and plug it in for x, and it's going to be true all the time. There's not just one answer. All things are the answers. And it also sometimes that nothing's going to be the answer. So let's say I have x plus 2 equals x plus 4. If I want to get the x's on the same side, I'll move this x over by subtracting since it's positive. It'll cancel out, but it also cancels out over here. So now I get 2 equals 4. And if you ask yourself, does 2 equal 4, you're going to have to say no. And so what happens is all the x's canceled out. There's no way this is ever going to have a number that you can plug in for it to be equal. And so this one has no solutions. There is no right answer. And so that would be your answer if the x's all canceled out and you got something that was not true.